So before we start uploading data to our database, let us work on this index page so that it reads data from the database and displays them here. And also we're going to add something in the uh, new blog post so that this description will be like a WYSIWYG we'll editor so that we can type in things that are going to look like HTML format, like have a bold, have a heading and all that. So I'm going to use a WYSIWYG we'll editor called TinyMCE. So I'll just copy these two lines of code and I'll head over to my new.ejx. In here in the head section, I'm going to paste that in. So I pasted those two lines of code. So what that is going to do is that it's going to look for anywhere I have a text area markup, which is the one I use for the description. It's going to turn that into a WYSI week editor, like what you see is what you get, editor. So let us go back and refresh that. Okay, so you can see we have that here. So there is a pop-up here because I didn't create an account. I just closed that. Uh, you can go ahead and do that in yours, but I don't need that. So let's just continue. So I can type and make my text bold. I could centralize text if I want. Let me just make this bigger. I could have headings so that I can actually have the freedom to create a very detailed blog post body. But then we have a problem. Anytime we let users to be able to type in this sort of stuff, they can somehow uh, get in JavaScript in here and that might cause a mess to your database. So we're going to safeguard against that. And then uh, what else we're going to do is that when we create a new post and this gets saved in our database, we want to take a snippet out of that and place it here. And whatever we're going to place here, we do not need it to have the HTML markup. So we're going to find a way to strip out all the HTML and save a portion of it that will be displayed here. So I'm going to be adding three more uh, plugins to what we have. Okay, so just before we do that, uh, I have a warning in my my terminal here, deprecation warning. Okay, so I think this is because in our slug, we are making the slug a unique uh, value. So we need to add something. So in my server.jx, uh, where I have the connection to the database, we have mongoose that connect. We're going to add uh, the social add use create index. I'll say use create index. I'll set that to true. So that should get rid of that deprecation warning. Okay. So let's continue. So I'm going to install two, more, uh, three more plugins. Let me just do that. Just paste this code. So I'm going to use DOM purify and just DOM. And I'm also going to use string strip HTML. Okay, so the DOM purify and the JS DOM will help me to escape my HTML and JS DOM for any ma malicious JavaScript code or any JavaScript at all. It will escape that. And then the string strip HTML, we're going to strip out any HTML uh, tags and save a portion of that to use for a snippet that will be displayed in the index. Uh, page okay so i guess that's done uh if i go to my package the json i'm gonna see i have my dump purifier and i have my string strip html i also have my jx dom all installed so we are going to head over to our blocks model we're gonna make changes there so first of all i'm going to uh, require or bringing um, those things I'm going to use to strip my my HTML. So I'll just say, let's call this const. Uh, let's say down purifier equal to require. So I'm just going to require the down purifier. And then the next thing I'm going to bring in, it's I want to bring in our JX DOM, but I just want to bring in the portion that we're going to use. So I just type JX DOM equal to require JS DOM. 
to most of this, you, you can find it in the documentation of, uh, the respective, uh, uh, dependencies. And I'm also going to have another const that I'm going to call HTML purify. What it's going to do is anywhere we have, uh, like a HTML being, uh, being imputed from the description, we're going to, uh, purify that and then we're going to pass it into this constant. So I'm just going to say done purifier. I'm calling the done purifier here and I'm going to pass in new JS dom dot window object. Now all this is in the documentation. If you want really understand how it works, please just go have a look at that. I'm also going to create another const that I'm going to use to strip my, um, HTML, so calling strip HTML, and that will be require strip string HTML. Okay, so uh, let us make changes to our schema. So our title is still going to remain the same. Our author is going to remain the same. Our description is going to remain the same. Created at our time creator is going to remain the same. Our image for now is going to remain the same. We're going to get back to that. Uh, what we're going to add is another object called snippet. Just put a comma here. Now this snippet is going to just be a portion of, uh, whatever we type in description. So the type is going to be string and uh, everything here remains the same. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to run a function or uh, like a validation. So that's going to run before uh, the data gets stored in. So whenever we send in our data from our form, uh, we kind of run a validation and then it gets stored. So in that validation, I'm going to do some things in there. So let me just say block schema pre uh just say validate and in here i'm going to pass in a function and as a parameter just pass in next so next is going to be called whenever i'm done uh what i'm doing so in that function what i'm going to do i'm going to check if there is a description so say if this description so i'm referring to this description that was sent so if there is a description what i'm going to do is i'm going to purify that description so i'll say this description equal to uh we call it html purify that's this const right here and we're going to say dot sanitize and then we're going to pass in the description oops description so this is going to sanitize uh, the description next thing i'm also going to do is i'm going to prepare the snippet so says this snippet okay so this snippet is going to be equal to or calling that strip html and in here i'm going to pass in this description i'm just going to take a soft string uh so let me just say the first 200 characters and at the end i say dot results now all of this is all written in documentation so this is how we use the strip html so i take a, a portion of the description i strip in i strip the html snippet and i pass that to this snippet right here okay so after all this is done I'm just going to call in that next. So the next is going to run the, the next thing, which is going to be to save blog post. Okay. So just save. So we're going to test it out, see what we have. So this is what the database looks like just now. You can see we don't have that snippet and the description is just uh, plain text. So let us, uh, let us fill in, uh, something in our form. So I'll click on create a new blog. So this time I'm going to say a new blog title. Also, I just say some T codes. Now for this portion, 
I'm just going to create something that looks realistic. I have a heading, put it in the center, say blog title heading, and then I can have a blog. This is the body. I'm just have some, make some of this bold, and then I'm just going to click on save. Okay, so that I've saved, and then you can notice that we have all that HTML tag in here. We're gonna fix this so that it displays the HTML correctly, but now it's just displaying the text. And let's check our database. Uh, let's refresh. Okay, so at the very bottom, the last one, you can see the description has that HTML. And then you can see we have a snippet. The snippet just takes a portion of that. And you can see it stripped out all of that HTML tags. So this is working just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this portion so that it displays or it renders the HTML. So let's head back to our code. Show your EJX. Uh, so we're going to head over to where we called up the description. Then then we'll, this equal to sign makes the EJX to display it has a plain text so we're going to change that to a hyphen so hyphen will render that html for us so if we save this head back to our website and refresh you can see it renders the html tags and then let's head back so here we need to make all of this to actually show us the information in our database so we need this to show us the title of each one. Here we show the snippet of each one. And here we show us the author of each one. So let's go to, uh, server. So, if, uh, there's a place we passed in that dummy data, which is here. You can see we passed in dummy data as it const blocks. So what we're going to do here is that we're actually going to read that data and then pass it in here. Okay. And then we've learned, uh, how to do that already. So it's just going to be similar. Uh, which what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new line here and I'll say let blogs. I'm actually going to get rid of all of this cause we don't need it anymore. So I'll get rid of this. Okay. So I'll say let blogs equals to blog that's the model blog let me see do i have it here so i need to import that here so just after the blog router i could say const capital b because just the way i want to name it equal to require so i'm requiring that model of blog models blog okay so just bring in that model so I'll say let blogs equal to blog the find. So I want to find all. So that's find. And then, uh, I think I will sort it by, uh, when it was created. So I'll just tack on that dot sort. And in the sort, I need to pass in, uh, what I want to use to sort it. Okay. So I'll do that with a uh, array object. So so I'll just say, I want to sort it with time created. And then I want it to be in descending order. So this will fetch the blocks for us. Now, because this might take some time, I'll make this an async uh, request or function rather, because it might take a while. And then I will put on a wait here because we needed to wait for this to come back. That's all we need to do because this block is already being passed in here. So when I save, so let's see what we have in our browser. I'll just refresh this. Okay. We have an error. Okay. So let's go to our index ejx. Uh, let's see. We have an error from the auto. auto I think this should be time created. Just swipe that. Let's refresh. Okay, good. So that was just the error there. So you can see that we have all our blogs. Uh, now for us to just make sure that this is actually working, I'm going to delete everything I have in the database. I'll just head back to the database. 
and I'll delete all these entries. Okay, so right now I have nothing here. I've deleted everything. I'll just refresh this page and you can see there's nothing here. Okay, so nothing's been displayed. So what I want to do is that when nothing is uh, in the database, it should, it should see no results. So I'll head back to my index.ejx. Uh, okay, here we had a loop. So I just make this smaller so I can see. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to add, let's just add an if. We'll add an if that checks for the length of blocks. So if the length of blocks is uh, less than one, we say there's nothing else you should do all of this here. Okay. So just let's do that. So we're going to put in our EJX syntax so that we can put in a uh, plain uh, JavaScript code. So I can say if blocks length it's less than one uh, if it's less than one uh, of course there's nothing there so what i'm going to do is take this put it here and then put another one here okay so if this is less than one whatever i put in here is what's going to be displayed so i'll just put a, a p tag of text white and uh, that says no blogs yet or rather no posts yet create a new one okay so this would be shown when uh, when we don't have any uh, blog posts so if I just save this I can go back to my browser and refresh so she said no posts yet Let's create a new one so I'll click on new blog Let's create a new post. So I'll save some blog title, just some description, some t codes. Make some things bold so we can see that. I shouldn't have all this. Let me just make this smaller. Okay, so I'll click on save. So that shows us our blog. That we just created when I am back to the index page you can see that here and you can also see the snippet doesn't have all those bold attributes it just this place as a text so we can create another one just to see if that's actually working I'll use the same block title uh, some T and then just some random stuff just put in let's put in center let's make that bold We'll give it a heading and then we can go ahead and type in some other stuff then we'll save you can see that then we'll go back you can see that we have that here and you can see the snippet doesn't have any html being rendered in here or the tags okay very good so the next video we're going to work on how we can update these values just click on this how we can update the values and then uh that will be reflected.